Hey, too, it's from all 51 here, and uh, we've got a pedal tractor we're going to put together today. Do the best I can to video it, um, and I apologize the noise we got the we're uh here at the house here, and we're going to put it together in the carport. And yes, those are collars that I have over there, but um, yes, yeah, Magnum 400 pedal tractor, and um, we kind of we kind of decided to go this way uh we're gonna do change something up because it seems like every other tractor club there is out there close by us is doing the latest whatever case ih puts out and i think it's the farm all c or something now and so we decided i said let's do something different and that way we you know when you go to a show and there's four other tractor clubs there they're not selling you, you know you're going to buy tickets on one tractor or one time you're not going to buy it on all you know every one out there so i said let's do something a little different and that way this will be some you know a different tractor that uh you can buy a ticket for and not the same same one and also they've got a a, a white demonstrator c and the only i mean i like that i mean we know what it is uh, us in the, the tractor world here but the general public does not know what a white. They want to know why it's not red or, and we've had gold demonstrator, like 856 or something, I think it was. And it was actually a gold anniversary edition for Ertl. And people were confused as why it was um, gold and not red. And, you know, so I said, let's, let's don't do those anymore for, just for the sake of, of everybody that came up there we were having to explain why it was the color it was so so we'll uh we'll come back here in a little bit and um with everything we're going to need wood and all that stuff so <laughs> but as you can see it's quite a bit of stuff in here and it's uh these are not the easiest things to put together if you put enough of them together they're not bad but they can be a, a pain to put together so and i've put together two or three now i think but seems like everyone's just about different in a, a little way uh, but anyway all right uh, step one has us putting the seat and the steering wheel on the uh tractor body here as you can see i've got the seat laying here and the steering wheels over here with the other other parts and um i'm gonna use their tool just to make it fun so but um all right we'll go ahead and then uh put this uh m5 75 by 75 screw and tooth washer nut on and um go from there Step two was to put the uh, pedals on the uh, crank here, and I got those put on, and I used the socket to fit right over to help drive them down, make it a little easier and not damage them. So, but yep, yeah, got that. Step two, we're on the step three. We're going to be putting the chain and the uh, axles in. All right, this is step three. Went ahead and got the rear axles, chain, and pedals, and all put on. And I done put the cover back on, but you see we got the axles put on and the axles move. So good on that. So we're moving to the next step, which is four. That's putting the front axle together, I guess. So all right, next step uh, we're gonna do is number five. So we get to put the front wheels on. There's the rear on the right there, but we get to put them on now. So we got the axle. Front axle will put together, I guess it works, so then we'll put it up here and mount it, so. All right, see you back in a second. All right, got step six, we'll put the axle in the front and the rear tires on, the caps for the axles and all that. Got all that bolted down, and then there it is. And it steers, so pedals we will have to get one in a little kit or something to try it out but i'm gonna put the decals on next
All right, that's it for the Magnum 400 pedal tractor.